Hey, what's up? Lightball Joe here. Today we're going to discuss the 1995 action-adventure thriller film, Heat. This stars Robert De Niro. Um, Al Pacino's in this. Uh, a slew of other people are in this. John Voight's in this. Uh, Danny Torejo's in this, very briefly. One of his very earlier roles. It's just really neat. Oh, Natalie Portman is in this as a teenager who is very depressed. Like, things happen. It's very neat watching this from a time standpoint, because so many actors and actresses from this project have done incredible things since 1995 when this came out. Also, the fact that this was from 1995 blows my mind. I love watching 80s and 90s films specifically because of the practicality effects when it comes to action sequences, right? There's fire, there's explosions, there's like stuff, right? There's actual stuff going on, like the blood splatter packs, like in the chest to make it look like you've just been shot kind of a thing, right? Like, it, a lot of stuff now is very CGI and very computed and very AI, and it's not authentic. It doesn't have that grit. The 80s and 90s films, especially the action films, they have that grit. And it's, I, I don't know how else to explain it. We've talked about this with regards to animatronics as well, puppeteering, stuff like that for creatures or whatever. It's just a beautiful, real life, authentic grit that modern films don't normally have. So watching this, I was in awe because I've never seen it. And to have that authentic grit and the blood and the sweat and the tears of these characters, it was just wonderful. What's very interesting is that you have Al Pacino playing this chief LAPD character. You have Robert De Niro playing this head of this crime syndicate character. You root for both of them at the same time. You want them both to win. And it's very weird because normally you want either the bad guy to win or you want the good guy to win. But who is bad and who is good, right? But you're rooting for both the criminal and the cop at the same time. You want them both to succeed. And I've never really noticed that within properties where you're rooting for both sides. Normally you pick a side. But this was different. I'm rooting for both. It was very interesting. I really enjoyed it. It's very long, two hours and 50 minutes long. My attention span does not hold that long, so I had to do stuff while watching it. But the, the, the fight sequences, the, the shooting spree through the streets after the bank heist goes wrong, going from one thing to the park, to the parking lot of the grocery store, it was just wild. The, the hotel evacuation scene, wild so many specific moments were wild and so many camera pans were just really cool it was just such a well put together project my complaint is the time should not have taken two hours and 50 minutes to get from point a to point b to point c if this was a mini series if this was a four episode mini series and they expanded on certain characters i think it would have been great as a mini series and why I say that is that certain characters are introduced and certain backgrounds are introduced and certain things happen. And then like we don't see or hear from them again. But why did we spend so much time on this particular individual for this particular amount of time and never talk about them ever again? So I feel like some of those things could have been expanded upon. Al Pacino's character has certain family dynamics that he's dealing with while dealing with this crime spree stuff. But we stay at the family dynamic stuff for a very long time while the other things are happening. So it felt like it was two different movies. What's happening with that cop and his family? What's happening with the heist stuff? I feel like if it was expanded upon on, on the family aspect, it would have matched then in regards to the expanded upon within the criminal aspect. So I feel like certain things, certain plot points, certain storylines were just abruptly stopped, right? Natalie Portman's character, for instance, right? She uh, attempts to unalive herself in a bathtub in a hotel room where Al Pacino's character finds her. She is his stepdaughter, and he rushes her to the hospital. It's this whole big dramatic scene. It was very hard to watch. And we don't know anything after that. She goes through surgery. She had a successful surgery. That's it. The last time we see her is him carrying her and putting her on a gurney. That's it. What happened next? That's what, I, that's what I'm saying. Certain certain character stories stop. And it's those side character stories. Because the main story, obviously, is cop versus robber. So their end story at the airport. Beautiful scene as well. 
practical effects, wonderful, gorgeous. I loved it. So that's the main storyline. But then there were so many of these secondary, tertiary, and fourth, fourthary. I don't know what that quadidary. I assume, um, quadidary, quadidary, uh, quadidary storylines uh, that are happening that they could have definitely been expanded upon in a mini series. I would love to see this remade as a mini series. It would do so well as an eight episode mini series. Screw the four episodes. Eight episode mini series. Put it on Netflix. It would be great. It'd be very interesting with modern tech because this was very 95. So you page someone, you'd call them on the cell phone. But then certain parts were landline stuff. So it'd be very interesting seeing how these characters interact with tracking apps, with texting. Like, it would be very interesting seeing that. I think this would do really well as a, as a remake. Of course, we don't need a remake, of course, obviously. But I think it would do really well. Anyway, 95, Heat, awesome action film. On to the next review. Shmala.